What's up everybody, Starrek here, and today I will be going over round six of the ICS TC, ES, and AS um, track and uh, track combo. Um, today we're gonna be doing Buffalo Hills Rallycross with the Voss, um, and I'm gonna kind of switch up this series to be more of where to pass rather than a track walk since I don't really go over the actual track in what would be considered a traditional track walk. It's more like I'm just telling you where I think passes can happen and what turns uh, to, you know, pay attention to where you can make a move, where you may be able to capitalize on other people's mistakes. Um, whereas uh, Kenjo, if you want to go watch his video, which I think he is putting out uh, before the race, he'll be going over you know the track walk and also where um to be really careful in turn one and all that stuff so to begin with let's go over this weird sweeping left uh turn one this is going to be probably the main place where you can make a move so turn one is definitely make a move uh but definitely be careful and dive bombs here since the racing line is kind of outside then sweeps in like this so there's a lot of opportunity to hit someone if you do if you are making a move so make sure you make the move early enough that you know the person in front understand what understands what you're trying to do um nothing for turn a but turn or pff, turn a turn two um nothing i mean just you can go side by side there three and four um i would call this extreme danger very extreme danger if you go side by side here it's pretty much guaranteed to make contact on the dirt um so if you do end up going you know side by side turn three someone's gonna have to give up turn four whether that's you or the other person but be very cautious that's all i have to say turn five um is a opportunity corner uh, you're not you're not really gonna off of turn four You're not really gonna be able to make a move unless you know person in front of you makes a mistake goes out really wide or something like that on the dirt uh, Turn six and seven. I didn't put anything because they're pretty wide and you could definitely go side by side there. No problem um, In my opinion at least turn eight is Possible to make a move here um, But it'll be a dive bomb and so I would I would definitely uh, have extreme caution on that. And only if you're already pretty much side by side coming out of turn seven, six and seven, that you would even try to make a move because or else you're just dive bombing and more than likely you're gonna hit the other person. Um, and that could definitely incur, incur penalties. Um, and as the incident community has already stated, they're gonna be a lot more stringent. So keep that in mind. Uh, the jump. That's just danger. I wouldn't recommend going side by side because, you know, a lot of people don't. It's hard to control your after you go up the ramp. It's pretty hard to control where you're going unless you're just going straight, straight. So just like try not to unless you're, you know, someone's way over here and you're over here. You know, obviously that would be bad, but or OK. But there is a chance that you jump onto someone, which would not be fun. Turn nine is just straight up opportunity um it's a pretty tricky turn so you may get a lot of passes there um because it is tricky and people will go wide um so definitely that's an opportunity there's not really any way to like make a move you could maybe make a move in the middle of the turn but that's only if someone already made a mistake which would you know render that an opportunity corner so uh then turn 10 just nothing you know go side by side it's not really a turn it's just a what is it called that's not called anything just a sweeping turn onto the straight uh, but it is important to get behind someone here and get their slipstream up to turn one uh that's all i have for this uh again thank you white van man gaming who put together all of these on the site that i should have linked in the description below appreciate everybody um <clears throat> taking a look at this video and if you have any comments on my uh interpretation of the race you know the racing uh, opportunities on this track or you think a turn shouldn't be what i described it as let me know in the comments below appreciate it and i'll see you next time